please go subscribe to the Rumble channel for Franchise Sports TV under the name FSTV22. Now, I'm using that Rumble channel for any purposes of me getting kicked off YouTube and also for more of my spicier joints. It's free as well. I have the freedom to say whatever I want to say as well. So go subscribe to FSTV22. That is Franchise Sports TV 22 on Rumble. So this recent trade between the Milwaukee Bucks, Portland Trailblazers, I would say it's somewhat almost close enough, quite similar to uh, the 95 trade between the Houston Rockets and Portland Trailblazers when the Houston Rockets traded for Clyde Drexler in the middle of the season, February 14th, Valentine's Day, 95. They traded him, well, Portland traded him to Houston for Order Stoke, which was actually a big piece of the Houston Rockets 94 championship. He was a very big piece. I think he was a 20 point scorer, 10 rebound type of guy. Uh, still fairly young. He was also an all star with the Houston Rockets in 92. But he played a big role, played a big piece in that championship, but they let him go. And they got Clyde Drexler along with it. And one more piece along with it as well. Houston also got Tracy Murray in the trade as well, which was known as a big time three point shooter at the time. And then for Order Storp after that, he was traded to Portland, played 34 games. And then he moved him to Detroit. And then he ended up moving, he ended up moving to Vancouver in the 97-98 season. Order Stope in this case is basically Drew Holiday. Uh, Drew Holiday is now, well, for the time being, will be on Portland. Who knows what will possibly happen to him. Heard a buyout. Maybe he mean traded again. And Order Stope was no, no slouch. Like I said, he was an all-star uh, he did score 17,000 points for his whole entire career and got 10,000 rebounds, averaging 14 points and 8.2 rebounds a game for his whole career from 94 to 2001, last playing with the Charlotte Hornets. So he was no slouch at all. He was a great power forward for them. Just like Drew Holiday has been a great point guard for the Milwaukee Bucks, a good defensive point guard. And now Damian Lillard, has been traded from the Portland Trailblazers to the Milwaukee Bucks. And like I said, it's quite similar how this has went down because uh, Giannis is also of Nigerian descent, just like Hakeem was. The only difference is Hakeem was 32, 33, 31 around the time when this trade happened. And Clyde Drexter was almost the exact same age as Damian Lillard. 32 going on 33. I think Damian Lillard has turned 33 now. So it's quite similar. Uh, I think Damian Lillard has a little bit more left in the tank than Clyde did. I think Clyde's probably last good year uh, probably could have been with Houston in uh, 95. And then after that, he kind of fell out of his prime and we slowly saw the age. I think even before he went to Houston, he was already reaching out of his prime. And also, Houston Rockets already won a championship with Hakeem. The Milwaukee Bucks already won a championship with Giannis. Not back-to-back -back like Houston did, but within a short time frame. So it's very quite similar. Now, if you compare the teams that Houston had at the time, Houston had Sam Gassell, uh, Mario Eli was a sharpshooter, you know, Robert Ori, um, who else was on that team? I think Vernon Maxwell was on. Yeah, Vernon Maxwell was on the team, but it didn't go too well with him. I don't think he liked that uh, Clyde Drexler was actually on that team. I think there was some jealousy going on at the time with that. Because Vernon Maxwell did was pretty much a head case during this time. There were several incidents in the 95 season, actually. Uh... I think it was a February 95. He ran to his stance, punching the fan. I think that's on YouTube. He was suspended for 10 games, fined 20,000. Uh, two months later, some say he faked a hamstring. 
but he was given a lead, uh, given some time off. First game of the playoffs, and this is what I referred to earlier. He wasn't happy. He was frustrated with not playing. Uh, it was described as him being disgruntled with, uh, like I said, Kawhi Drexler being on the team, and it pretty much ended his tenure with the Rockets. Uh, he still got the ring. I don't think he played in that finals, from what I heard, from what I remember. But uh, yeah, it didn't go too well with him, and it continued on as his career went. I think he had two more incidents after that. But uh, they had Vernon Maxwell at the time. Uh, who else was on this team? I'm trying to think who else was on the team on that Houston 94-95 team. Um, I said Mario Ellie, Tracy Murray, of course. Um, Chucky Brown. I remember him being on there. So, so on and so on. Um, with the Milwaukee Bucks, he still have, even with the trading of Drew Holiday, now that Grayson Allen is also gone because he ended up going to Phoenix, they still got Chris Middleton. He still got Brooke Lopez. Now he got his brother. And there's one piece I actually forgot in my previous video, Malik Beasley, also another decent winged uh wingman right there at the shooting guard he probably most likely start and he still got most uh marjan bochamp pat Conton, jay crowder and some other pieces so uh you could even say name wise uh that this milwaukee bucks team is probably even more talented than the 94 95 houston rockets team but um it should be interesting to see what happens. Will this be the new version or the newer version of Hakeem and Clyde Drexler now with Giannis and Dame? Time will tell very much. Uh, I do say this. Uh, there will be a couple of teams that will have a problem with this when the season starts. Uh, I think this is their opportunity to do it now. They shouldn't. They should not, I repeat, they should not squabble this at all. I know there's been a history of dynamic duels out there recently that, oh, they look like they're going to be good. Oh, they shook the lead, but they haven't done anything yet. Philadelphia 76ers. I won't count the Dallas Mavericks. Phoenix Suns. LA Clippers is a big one. You get my point. So... Time would tell this would be the new Hakeem, the dream, and Clyde Drexler. Time will certainly tell. Uh, I think they gave up a little bit too much for it. I still think they need some more defense because defense, believe it or not, defense wins games more than offense does. And then there needs to be a balance as well. I don't think that. Eh. It might be somewhat of a balance with this team, but like I said, time would tell. We're going to have to see when the season starts. But I believe, as a fan of this team, uh, they are the new Hakeem and Clyde. They just been playing college together. But they have been saying, these two have been saying, actually shut the mouths of both of these two because it's been going back for the next last two years now that Damian Lillard wouldn't mind playing with Giannis. And now he's finally got his wish. So many of us predicted this would happen. Somebody wished for this to happen. I talked about it before. So we shall see what happens. And when I'm going to quote a famous, very famous supervillain, let the games begin.